Why do I think I've been selected as an inclusion role model? Well, the most obvious thing is I'm a senior female in the organisation. I'm a working dad to a young child, and like many people, my wife also works full time. You know, we both have to juggle our diaries to accommodate that. One of my children came out as trans in the last year. I wrote a blog recently um, about my life and the things that have happened over the last couple of years. As leaders, if we share and we're open, it inspires others to share and be open. I think it's really important people can be their best selves at RSA so they can be authentic how they are and not operate in a home self and a work self. Not everybody's an extrovert or an introvert, we're all a, a mixture of something along the line and I think we all perform better when we're not pretending to be someone else. Diversity of opinion is so important. I hate the idea that people sit in meetings and don't feel that they can bring up what they what they think. If people are the best selves at work and um, they ultimately feel valued. It's important because it just helps people feel confident in what they're capable of achieving at work. I like people to play to their strengths and I'll help and guide and support them through and overall they'll deliver something that's a lot more valuable than if we try and tell them what to do and be controlling. And as part-time working mum it's really important for me that there's no judgement around my working hours. I think it's important that you look at each person as an individual whether they're young or old. I've had a really tough couple of years in my life I didn't realise how much I needed support until those things happened. My team still now just says, is there anything we can do for you? Are you sure you're okay? When I came into the team, 40% of the team were fasting for Ramadan. The option came up that actually, shall we as a team spend a day fasting with these guys? People ask me, can you not drink water? Can you not do this? Can you not do that? I said, look, why don't you try it? Then you'll understand it. I feel wanted by the company and likewise, uh, you know, I feel appreciated. For leaders within the business, it's really important that, that they do communicate effectively with people and that there's fairness and there's opportunities for everybody. Make sure you go around the room, pull people out that maybe haven't talked. If you can get everyone's view out on the table, you get a much better decision and a much better business outcome. You get to know the person that you're working with and once you understand them as a person and their personal life, that allows you to include them in everything that you're doing and everything that they want to be included in. If I can be an inclusion role model, then anyone can be.